And welcome back, everyone, for week three of the 2019 NFL season, just two and two with my NFL picks last week. But we did nail the big teaser, so if you played that, and I hope you did, that was a nice little score for you. And Billy went three and one with his college picks, so we're on a bit of a roll. Let's start it off with Billy B. All right, what's up, guys? Billy B. back with you for college and NFL picks. Get it started. I went 3-1 and one last week in college, so a little bit better. Let's keep it up. First pick, we got Western Michigan plus 5, Florida minus 14, Central Florida minus 11.5, and, and Washington State minus 19. So there you have it for the college picks. Gio going to get you that NFL picks right now. The first game we're going to look at has the New Orleans Saints going to Seattle, where the Seahawks are four and a half point favorites at home. Seahawks catching up a bit of a break here. They won't have to play against Drew Brees, who's out for six to eight weeks. It's going to be touchdown Teddy Bridgewater, one of my all-time favorite Minnesota Vikings players ever. Now, Teddy is a bit of a conservative quarterback, doesn't throw the ball deep. And, you know, he's coming off of that terrible knee injury from a couple of years ago. He is probably all the way back. But with Breeze out, you probably don't want him taking chances running the ball. You know, I, I think um, the, the offense under Bridgewater probably max at it around 17 points. Meanwhile, the Saints defense has been giving up a lot of points, 28 and 27 in their first two weeks. I think that's what's going to happen here. So I think this is a pretty safe number to lay. So what, that's what we'll do. We'll lay the points. We'll take the Seattle Seahawks minus four and a half. Our second game has the New York Jets going to New England, where the Patriots are 23-point favorites at home. My God, 23 points. You saw in the Monday night game, the third string quarterback came in and it was actually better than the second string quarterback. And um, except for that really long touchdown that they gave up to uh, Odell Beckham Jr., the Jets defense played really well. I, you know, I don't think the Patriots are going to try to embarrass a division rival here. I think if uh, the Jets run the ball a bit and play sound defense, they can keep it within the 23. It's just too many points to lay. So let's take the New York Jets plus 23. 23, that's funny. The third game we're going to look at has the Baltimore Ravens going to Kansas City, where the Chiefs are six and a half point favorites at home. Chiefs are making their home debut. They they played their first two games on the road. Baltimore, who they play? They played Miami, probably the worst team in the, in the league this year, and Arizona, the worst team last year. That's uh, a bit of a step up in uh, opposition here with the mighty Kansas City Chiefs. You saw what they did last week. They were losing 10 nothing, and then instantly it was 28-10. This uh, offense is just killer. I don't think they're going to be able to uh, be stopped offensively. It'll probably be a high-scoring game. Uh, but I think it's under a touchdown, so I think it's a very safe number. And uh, Baltimore's not going to go 60-0. to 0. They're going to lose a game or two or three. And when they do, it'll be on the road um, against a good team, which Kansas City certainly is. So let's lay the points, and let's take the Kansas City Chiefs minus 6.5. And, and our fourth game has the Atlanta Falcons going to Indianapolis, where the Colts are one-and-a-half-point favorites at home. Again, this is the Colts... Uh, uh, oh, debut at home. Their first two games were on the road. A uh, close loss in Los Angeles against the Chargers and then a pretty good win on the road um, in Tennessee. Uh, so, so now they're at home. Atlanta Falcons sort of already playing to their script. Uh, not very good on the road. My Vikings handled them pretty easily. Really good at home. who they beat? A really good team last week. Philadelphia. Uh, now they're back on the road where they're not nearly as good. It's a very small price to pay. It's almost a pick -em. So let's lay the points. Let's take the Indianapolis Colts minus one and a half. All right, NFL picks week number three. I went two and two last week. Uh, had some, uh, you know, Big Ben went down in the Steelers game. Uh, some things happen. We're going to get that 3 one 4 no week coming up, so hopefully it's this one right here. Uh, first pick, I like the Vikings, minus 9.5 against the Raiders. Uh, the Raiders' uh, first uh, road game here. I think um, the Vikings will be able to run the ball. Um, Kirk Cousins won't be asked to do a lot. Vikings defense is um, very good. Uh, after giving up 21 points in the first quarter last week to the Packers, the Packers didn't score again for the rest of the game. So the Vikings got a very good defense, so I don't see the Raiders being able to score a lot here. So I like the Vikings to cover that. 
nine and a half. So take the Vikings minus nine and a half. Next pick, I like the Arizona Cardinals plus three against the Panthers. Arizona, um, Kyler Murray has been playing very well the first two games, just hasn't gotten that win yet. Uh, they held their own against a very good Baltimore team. Um, they had the chance to tie the tie and win the game at the end. Didn't happen. Cardinals, uh, or so I think actually Murray will get his first win as a, a pro. Um, they're getting the plus three. Panthers are going to be without um, Cam Newton most likely. They have not looked good. Um, I just there's uh, something wrong with that team this year. I don't know what it is. But I like the Arizona Cardinals plus three. Next pick, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers plus seven against the 49ers. Um, I actually, in my in honest opinion, I think that Mason Rudolph is a very good quarterback. He can throw it. He was in one of them offenses like, like a Patrick Mahomes offense where you're just throwing it all over the field. So he can complete passes. Um, James Conner should play in this game. So I just I think that Mason Rudolph at this point is a better option than Big Ben at, at his point of his career. So I actually think that the Steelers might not be as effective as affected by the injury to him as uh, as other teams um i'm not sure if the steelers are going to win this game outright but i do like them to cover this seven the 49ers are playing very well um but the seven is just a little bit too high for me i think this, this game will be within a field goal of four points so take the pittsburgh steelers plus seven last pick i like is the game of the week the baltimore ravens plus six against the kansas city chiefs now, this game is going to be uh, very fun to watch. I just think the six is too high here. I think this is one of the top, top, some of the top teams in the AFC. Uh, this is going to be a back-and-forth game projected to be very high scoring. Um, but I just think that the six is too much here. I think this is, like I said, it's going to be very close, maybe a field goal to win it at the end. Um, both teams, you know, good offenses. Chiefs defense isn't as good as Baltimore, so... Um, with the Chiefs being at home, I think it offsets the, that defense. So um, I think the Ravens are going to cover here the six. So take the Baltimore Ravens plus six. So there you have it for my NFL picks. Let's get some money this week. And congratulations to Carnage Candy. You're the winner of last week's prize giveaway, this Philadelphia Eagles beanie. Congratulations, Carnage Candy, you won. And what we'll do, uh, let's see, we had New England the first week, Philadelphia the second week, uh, the last two Super Bowl winners. How about a team that probably is not going to win the Super Bowl, uh, the Miami Dolphins. This is our prize for this week. All you have to do is put a hashtag in the comment section below, let's take the man's money, hashtag LTTMM, and you could win this beanie. Good luck. Okay, and here's my Let's Take the Man's Money party play. And the six game, six point teaser will take Indianapolis minus one and a half, Kansas City minus six and a half, New York Jets plus 23. That's still funny. Seattle minus four and a half. Let's throw in Buffalo at home on the, just on the money line. They're hosting Cincinnati. Buffalo will be making their home opener this week and will take Tampa Bay on the money line. They're hosting the New York Giants. Tampa Bay coming off of the Thursday game from the week before and the Giants starting Daniel Jones, the rookie. So let's take the Bucks, a $25 bet. We'll get a $624.02. And for the uh, the teaser play, remember we won last week, let's make it two in a row. We'll tease Indianapolis to plus four and a half. Kansas City down to minus half a point. The New York Jets all the way up to plus 29. Seattle to plus one and a half. Throw in Minnesota Vikings. Uh, my, my Vikings are home to Oakland. Uh, the spread there is eight and a half, so let's tease it down to two and a half. And Houston is at the Chargers. Um, uh, Houston's a very good team. I think they'll, the, the spread in that game is three and a half, I think. Well, anyways, we'll tease that up to plus nine and a half. For, for Houston and a $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck.
Okay, and those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. Don't forget to enter our contest. Put a hashtag in the section below, hashtag LTTMM, and give us a like and a thumbs up. All right, for Billy B, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.